Hello everyone. Today's video is about f-stops and t-stops. So what is the difference between the two and how does it affect your image or video? We've already spoken about aperture in a previous video and we know that aperture is measured in f-stops or f-numbers. So for those of you just joining, the opening through which light passes which is in the lens is measured in f-numbers, which correspond to the size of the opening relative to the focal length. Small f-numbers signify a wider opening. So for example, an f1.8 lens will have a much wider opening than an f3.5 lens at the same focal length. What many people don't know is that an f-number is a mathematical equation that divides the focal length of a lens by the diameter of the aperture opening. The problem with this system is that the light that goes through a lens is very different at the front of the lens to when it arrives at the sensor. This is mainly due to the glass elements inside the lens. It's not possible for them to transmit all 100% of that light. So for example, two lenses from two different manufacturers with the same focal length and aperture will have different transmission levels. This is where t-stops come in. A t-stop is simply the measurement of how much light is actually passing through the lens and reaching the sensor. It is calculated by dividing your f-stop number by the lens system transmittance percentage. Majority of lenses let in about 60 to 90% of the total light they receive. The most expensive lenses typically have higher transmittance levels. So for example, we have two lenses here. On the left is a Canon EF 50mm f1.8 STM lens and on the right side is a Sony E 50mm f1.8 SEL 5018 lens. Now even though these lenses are letting in the exact same amount of light, the Canon lens has a transmittance of about 95%, meaning it has a t-stop of 1.9. The Sony on the other hand has a transmittance of about 86%. It therefore has an equivalent t-number of 2.1. So what this means is that even though we technically have two lenses with the same specifications, the Canon lens actually ends up letting in a lot more light through to the sensor than the Sony. So keep in mind that whenever you have a lens with an f-stop of f1.8, or any number for that matter, the light that gets to the sensor is much less. You might be wondering how all this light is lost, and that's a very good question. Well, whenever you have glass of any sort, there's always going to be some trouble with reflection, refraction, as well as absorption from the areas that aren't glass on the sides of the lens. T-stops are mostly found in cinema lenses, which in general are very expensive. So it's rare to find a lens with T numbers on it instead of F numbers. But here's an example of one just to give you an idea of what they look like. This is a Canon CNE 35mm T1.5 LF Cine Prime lens with a price of about 3,400 US dollars. And how does all of this affect your photos or videos? Well, if you're shooting with f-stop glass, which is mostly designed for photos, you want to do your homework before you buy. Check the transmission values of the lenses to make sure you're getting a satisfactory t-stop. And if money is no object and you have access to cinema glass, you can be happy to know that the T1.8 lens you own is actually transmitting the number that is listed. Thanks for watching and I hope that this video was helpful to you. Please leave a like or a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. See you folks in the next one.